guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. Hi guys, Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. How's it going? So today is December the 5th. Um, and here I have another reading for you. I, I've been getting a lot of uh, channeled messages uh, in my readings. And today I was just sitting down to do some private readings. And normally I will pull some cards just to kind of warm myself up, right? So... These are two separate spreads that I pulled, and uh, the message that was channeled was so clear um, that I just had to, you know, hit the play button on the camera. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it justice, uh, but let's give it a try here. Okay, so normally I don't do readings like this. Um, normally I pull them and uh, do like an you know, and, and uh, speak the message as it comes. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not really used to this kind of format. So, anyway, um, I was a little concerned when I was pulling these little clarifier cards. Um, you know, a lot of them are kind of uh, lower vibration energy, um, but they really made sense with the card that they were, you know, confirming or clarifying. Um, another thing I noticed is that there was, you know, it's almost like this was a continuation of the reading that I did yesterday. I really feel strongly that there has been a strong shift in energy, um, that the feminine is taking on more of a masculine energy and vice versa. Uh, so that's being shown very strongly um, in this reading as well. So there's um, another thing I notice is that the masculine's heart um, has really exploded open. Um, and you can see that with the crossroads reading that I did in the middle. And I'll, I'll go through that real quick. So, yeah, a definite shift. Um, and both, actually, there's an internal struggle with both. Okay, so let's let's start here. So... I did a divine partnership reading, so there's nine cards for the masculine, nine for the feminine, uh, two overall energies at the back there. Um, so let's just kind of go through the divine partnership first, and then we'll go to, uh, actually, you know what, let's do the crossroads, because that's the reading that I actually chose first. Okay, so the way that the masculine is feeling internally is the three of pentacles. This is a firm foundation, grounded energy, uh, feeling like... You know, there's a, he's starting to manifest this connection into the 3D reality. And you can see in how he views this connection is as a, a page of pentacles. So the page of pentacles is somebody who would sit down and um, plan for, you know, a goal to manifest in the 3D reality. Uh, the page of pentacles is also somebody who um, communicates in the 3D but really, there's this desire to start a new life with the Divine Feminine. And if you look at this reading, you know, there's that repeated energy of the masculine presenting the feminine with a gift. And you can see, you'll be able to see it again replaying on this side here, uh, but in reverse. No, actually, it is, it is the same direction. It's the masculine wanting to give the feminine... A gift uh, so anyway if you look at these energies as well and, that, and that's you know what I really notice in the cards as well is that the cards are telling a story usually I focus on the energy and every once in a while the card image will come into play um, but I really felt like a strong connection of the cards running through the reading so anyway so the way the masculine views the feminine is as the Empress the goddess of love this incredible 
um, you know, I'm being guided to start with the divine partnership reading. So let's do that. Um, so anyway, uh, the goddess, right? She's cloaked in this red um, draping, you know, it almost looks like a vagina if you really think about it. Uh, she has that, what is that, uh, shield of, you know, it's shape of a heart. Um, so she's ruled by Venus, the, the goddess of love. So this is how he sees her. He sees her as a grounded, very beautiful, um, you know, just... There's a lot of self-love that I feel from this card. Very nurturing, um, giving, um, caring energy. But that card is in his resisting position, which I will get to. Okay, so the way that he sees himself is, you know, as the prince of pentacles. Here's a princess, you know, that's being represented. But I feel the energy is, he's kind of exuding a feminine energy, a gentleness, um, and offering that pentacle to the feminine. You know, the sun is just this bright ray uh, behind him, and everything is green, so there's so much growth and groundedness. There's this um, solid knowing of a desire to offer the feminine. But the card that's accompanying it is missed opportunity, right? There's this feeling that um, he needs to step forward and, you know, offer this to her. Um, that it's almost like the time is now. He's hearing the calling. And so the message from his higher self, like that's how he views the relationship, right? Um, this is what he's resisting, and this is a message from the higher self. So he got the Nine of Cups, which is just feeling satisfied. You know, he's proud of himself. He's exuding this, this um, confidence, and you know, he's got Nine Cups up here that he has to offer, right? And so his higher self is feeling love exuding love, feeling, you know, just satisfied um, and happy. A lot of self-love here as well. But if you notice, the image is still um, not as, you know, she, he's, he's being seen more as somebody who, um, like a lower court card, right? This is the Empress. So there's a, a self-image that I feel the masculine is kind of struggling with. Um, but at the same time, there's a desire to offer love and a new beginning in the 3D. Um, so this card is also dreams granted, wishes fulfilled. He feels that his dreams are coming true. Um, you know, he's feeling true love within his heart. But the card that accompanied it is creative block, and this card sh showed up in... Um, uh, the reading I did yesterday, the crossroads reading. And so what I'm feeling here is a blockage, right? It's um, this love is, is, you know, welling up within him, but it's almost like he's, he's, he's opening up, right? That blockage is, is opening. And because you can see in the uh, crossroads reading that there's definite love here, right? So he's connecting with his heart. Um, but yeah, there is, if you look at the card beside it, this is the feminine aspect. So there's an image of, you know, a person looking up at the sky and the universe is offering this person a cup of love. And so there's an element of contemplation. Does she want to take that cup, right? This is how she views the, the relationship, um, that cup. That cup is being offered to her. Uh, so on a 5D level, the way she sees this connection is um, not knowing if she should receive it. I'm really feeling receive it for sure because um, the masculine has so many cups here, right? And it's almost like he's reaching through the reading to offer it to her. And she's definitely looking at it 
thinking about it. So if you add the nine with this, um, you know, cup that's being offered, that would be ten cups. But she's not even noticing the three cups that are, are beside her. So yeah, this is a four of cups. Um, let me just go back to the resisting position for the masculine. Um, so the card that he got with it is stay home, feel stuck, held back. And that was the exact same energy that um, came out in yesterday's reading. So this is, you know, he's desiring this new beginning. He wants to start a new life. He's feeling the call. He's feeling love within himself. And, you know, he knows that the feminine is um, the, the, the whole package, right? Um, but at the same time, this is in his resisting position because he feels like he's stuck, held back. You know, that um, things won't change. It's almost like he's giving up on some level. Okay, so... Uh, what the masculine got in the past position is the judgment card. So this card also came up on the masculine side yesterday as well. You know, so it's, he's heard the call, uh, the call to awaken, you know, um, to seek out the truth. Crazy synchronicity that these two cards showed up together. So... You know, it's like he's coming out of the ground, out of the grave, being reborn. They're all naked, running around, celebrating, cheering. Um, there's so much freedom associated with this card. But this card is also one of evaluation as well. So, you know, it's reviewing your life, right? And the message in the, in the reading yesterday was hearing that, that call, realizing that you've been conditioned, controlled, and... You know, you sought out the truth and you, you've you awakened um, to the truth. So in the present position for the masculine is the Ten of Wands. So there's that energy of wanting to give up, right? This is carrying all the burdens on his back. Uh, it's being caught in the matrix. You know, all these wands... Um, are obligations and responsibilities that you are, you know, carrying with you. Um, and so the reason why the masculine is feeling like that and that in the present position is because he heard the wake-up call. He heard that there's, you know, he's, he, f he sees that there is a life that he can have that is free, you know, um, yeah, I just feel this very heavy burden, tired all the time, exhausted. Uh, and the clarifier I got with it is no. So it's like, no more. You know, I don't want to feel this burden anymore. Um, I know the truth now. Right? I feel love within my heart. Um, you know, he was trying to ignore it yesterday. So in the future position, there is the Seven of Swords. So this is an energy of moving away uh, from um, somebody who you think is, you know, taking you for granted or lying. Or it's, it's just, you know, it's kind of like sneaking away in the middle of the night. So there's this energy that he wants to be released um, from responsibilities. And so this card is also one of betrayal, feeling like somebody's lying to you. Um, but the energy I'm really picking up is leaving a situation, taking the swords that are important to him, and leaving what he no longer wants behind. So it's like, you know, he's still bringing things with him. He's still carrying some of that burden. But... Um, these thoughts are important to him, you know, and there's a sense of him looking back to see if he's going to be caught. So masculines watch that energy, do things in an honest way, right? And the card that accompanies it is time of chaos. Wow. So what I'm feeling here is, you know, almost like a tower energy coming down um, in, in the present moment, just 
you know, he's making some realizations, um, understanding how a twin flame connection, uh, you know, is completely different energy than feeling chained and bound to something, right? It's crazy that the, the devil card showed up with, they are your twin, and it's in the external environment. What he fears is the sun, right? That vibrant energy that he feels when he's with the feminine. So it's a wake-up call to that, to his heart opening. So, yeah, it's, um, it's movement away from negative thoughts. Okay, so the message from the universe for the masculine was a seven of wands. Right, so here's those wands um, being directed at the masculine, and he has this one wand, this one idea, and he's defending himself, right? He's the king of the hill. He has to defend this higher position, right? So it's a message from the universe. Um, the card that came with it is a coward, right? Um, and what I really felt with this is a, a feeling of wanting to push away, to block, to ignore, to slip away in the middle of the night you know um but there is strength with this card but the, the confirmation was a coward right and it's a message from the universe so this definite feeling of being tested um is coming up right is he he's battling not only other people other wands but battling with himself you know, I am strong enough to keep, to, uh, to do whatever it is that I need to do in order to be free, to start this new life, to feel true love, to live a life that's more aligned with myself. It's like he's realizing the lie. So the, the external environment, the masculine got the devil, like I said earlier, but you can see here that, you know, that chained energy being held, um, together uh, and the devil is ego, you know, and so the car that came with it is they are your twin. So there's this realization that the energy, right, this empress, um, is his true love soulmate. And so he's either bound to a karmic or, um, you know, some kind of negative influence in the 3D reality and being held back. Um, or he's realizing how he's been chained and held back, right, by having that, by seeking the truth and understanding um, what true love is, like I was saying. Okay, and very cool synchronicity, you know, and it's like when you look at these two cards together, you know, it's almost like he is battling these other people as well as the devil, right? He's using that wand to break that chain to free himself. But ultimately, um, he is afraid of the sun. Uh, you know, the sun is the most positive card, major arcana, and the nine of cups is the most positive minor arcana. So these are incredible energies that are surrounding him, that are in his field. But he's afraid of this new beginning. He's afraid of a new life, perhaps. You know, just really, he's afraid maybe of things not working out. You know, but if you look, this freedom of this baby, right? It's, it's a rebirth. Again, being reborn, being reborn, reclaiming your freedom. Um, living the life that you've always wanted to. And so the car that came along with it is sadness and loneliness. That's what he's afraid of, right? Is um, being stuck. Things are always going to be the, st the same, you know, and being locked into um, a, an illusion. Okay, so on the feminine side, Four of Cups, and the card that came with it is be a student or follow. And again, this card showed up yesterday. 
and I kind of already explained it, there's this dilemma, right? But, you know, if you pay attention to the card, it's a reminder. We all make mistakes. You know, we're only human, right? So you're always going to be a student and a teacher at the same time, you know, depending on the situation. So this situation, you are being asked to learn instead of analyzing, see what you are missing, right? And it's this idea of that cup being offered to you. So what was in your resisting position is judgment. So it's the exact same card. And I was actually really surprised to see this. Uh, first, I pull all the masculine cards and then all the feminine. So I noticed the masculine card first. And what's kind of cool is that there's a masculine angel up here. So it's almost like the masculine's higher self, um, you know, is projecting that calling and is heard by his higher self. And then here we have a feminine, you know, sounding the horn. Um, and the card that showed up with it is stranger or outside forces. So uh, this, kind of, this card kind of confused me a little bit. Um, but then I, you know, when I looked through the rest of the cards, I realized that the feminine is really struggling with this idea that the, fe the masculine is not her twin flame, that he is not for her that um, she wants to let go. You know, it's an illusion, it's a deception. Things will stay the same. So it is a mirroring of what's happening over on the masculine side, just in a different form, but there's definitely the same energy there. Um, although the masculine is opening up his heart space, for sure, uh, the feminine is kind of turning away, but still focused, still her energy is turned towards the masculine, but her attention is turning away, is what I see here. So uh, the resisting position is judgment. You're not hearing the wake-up call. You're not hearing that sound, you know, that horn, the trumpet being um, sounded, right? And the stranger outside forces, like I said, is, you know, you, maybe you're projecting too much uh, focus and energy on external forces um, when your energy should be turned inside. Switching perspectives is a very strong um, reading here for sure. And the feminine does have the third eye chakra uh, in the crossroads reading. Okay, so message from the higher self was five of swords and the accompanying card was not for you. Right, so this card is winning at all costs. It's negative energy, finger pointing, negative thoughts, right? Wanting to argue and just win for the sake of winning, right? So there are negative thoughts that are entering the feminine. Um, and so she's really questioning this connection. And so your higher self is asking you to use your intuition, to listen to your inner knowing and let that guide you, right? Okay, so the past position was confusion or delay along with the King of Cups. So there's this deep loving energy and it was directed towards the feminine and she felt, you know, she felt deeply in love with the masculine. And then there was a delay and it caused this confusion, right? And, and so she has the Four of Cups twice, which is stagnation, disconnect feeling like things just aren't moving, right? And the King of Cups gives love um, unconditionally. And love is pure and innocent. Um, and so, yeah, there's this conflict within the feminine to, to want to walk away, to disconnect, right? So it, And so that's opposite energy of what uh, we normally see. Normally it's a masculine who's in this so the present position is the hangman, letting go of control, seeing things from a different perspective. Okay, turning the world upside down. So the, the feminine is letting go of control and surrendering. But there is a major shift in consciousness that I feel. This, you know, she is usually the feminine is um, represented as somebody who is awakened, right? 
what if the the roles are reversed what did it what if it was the masculine who woke first and you know your the feminine isn't as conscious as they think they are right on a 5d level uh there is this balance of energy interplay between the two aspects and so um yeah i mean there's an energy that is felt between t the twins that you don't feel with anybody else right and so um unconsciously subconsciously uh you make decisions uh and follow through with those decisions take action based on something that was you know an attention that was seated so long ago do you know what i mean and yeah it it's the twin flame connection really plays out through your entire life right if you look at it uh but anyway letting go of control and then the card that came along with it is fix it restore it beginnings um but the ma major energy is the hangman which is letting go what i feel strongly is for you to switch perspectives don't feel that you need to fix it restore it right if you don't want to take that cup of love then don't don't feel that you're obligated to accept it right so the rem remember that the energy from the past is directed towards the feminine and she is sitting here and in contemplation right and again she has more of a higher um perspective of the masculine you know she's kind of withered it's sitting on the ground and you know feeling pain um while the masculine is sitting on his throne <laughs> You know, it's uh, a little bit of arrogance in on some level. So, yeah, what I feel is that there's something that the feminine still needs to learn from. So the future position is let go of them. Repeated card from the reading I did yesterday, and it's with the Seven of Wands. So it's the exact same card over here. Uh, so this is more of holding space energy than this is more of a battling right so what i feel here is let go of them right you can't force somebody to feel anything or do anything um but also at the same time don't listen to those negative thoughts, right, that he is not for you, that, um, you know, that it's all deception. If you feel it within your soul, then, and it, it feels right, then it is right. So this is a feminine, just letting go, putting down those wands, right? Don't let it escalate to the point where you feel like the ten of wands over there, you know. Uh, Okay, so for the message from the universe, it was Nine of Swords. The first card I pulled was, it's a deception, and then I asked for another one, and it's numb. So there's these stabbing thoughts, right, that the feminine has that keeps cre creeping up on her, that she's letting go of, that she's surrendering to. And, you know, you can see in this picture, picture how she has her arms over her heart, so there's a protective... Uh, feeling here. So this is anxiety, fear, worry, guilt. Just can't sleep, right? And you're questioning. It's a deception in that he doesn't feel anything. He's numb. You know, there's a sense of you saying it's an illusion, right? And um, I'm not going to allow myself to feel that way anymore. And that's why you're questioning whether or not you want to take that cup. But the external environment is the Ten of Cups. Okay, and so this is like a happily ever after. That vibration is so beautiful and it's coming from the masculine. Um, yeah, so it's peace, harmony, and bliss. And the, the accompanying card is things will stay the same. So that's that same message that the masculine is feeling over here. Stay home, feel stuck, held back, I can't move, right? So the feminine is definitely 
feeling that vibration over on her side uh, in the external very cool synchronicity you know but if you look at these two cards they, they are completely polar opposites right but at the same time there's this feeling this realization of um, true love right and this can be had that ten of cups energy can be had And so for the, what would the, the feminine was uh, fearing is the Eight of Cups. So this is moving on, leaving all those cups behind to hell with it, right? Just walking away. Uh, but this type of letting go is not a spiritual one, right? There's an element of, you know, here we got let go and let go, which is the lower vibration of pain and fear and defensiveness while this is illumination this is seeing things from a higher perspective right it's you know, those stabbing thoughts are um, taking its toll on the feminine so she doesn't want to feel that vibration anymore so she's turning her attention away she's ignoring and avoiding so feminine watch that energy so let's move into the uh, the crossroads reading. Why isn't that staying up? Okay, so for the crossroads reading, uh, the masculine, like I said before, three of pentacles, feeling like there's a start, that there is stability foundation right um, and so this is how he feels internally this is what he wants to build you know to that ten of Pentacles to that happily ever after manifested into the 3d reality how does he feel about the feminine the queen of no fucks given and I, I just want to say guys thank you for uh, all of the likes and the comments on that video I did yesterday with uh, you know even the bird um, you know, a lot of people, uh, I was really afraid of putting it out there because some people can take offense to it. And, and you know, it's, what I'm trying to say is that this is love and the whole concept of not giving a fuck is letting go of attachments in the 3D reality, letting go of expectations, not allowing, you know, conditioning and stories to rule your life, being free like the Queen of Wands, unattached, living your life purpose shining your light, feeling passionate and creative and just, you know, exuding this power, this strength. And that's how he sees you. Again, repeating this energy of, you know, almost goddess-like quality, right? And so he feels this passion within him. And he desires that. Uh, what does he want to know is the ace of, eight of wands. He wants to communicate. He wants to, um, you know, this card is Cupid's arrows as well. So he's sending loving vibrations out into the universe. He's receiving that energy. He's feeling excited. He's feeling love. And this card is also about manifestation. So he, want, he wants you to know that he wants to communicate. He wants to open himself up. Right? There's this fiery, passionate energy that's repeated there. So what's at his heart space? Beautiful. It's a king of cups. Yes, so the King of Cups is the same energy over here, except for my card is Kurt Cobain, who loves so much that it hurt him. Right, so this is a deep, deep love in his heart space, and that's why I feel that, you know, the masculine's energy has shifted into the heart. Right, and that's what he was afraid of yesterday, was having his heart broken. And so, major shift from yesterday. So... Um, what does he want for the relationship is the Nine of Pentacles, independence, freedom, um, right? This is harvest, ripeness, readiness, and it is self-love. But what I felt strongly is manifestation, manifestation of his dreams into the 3D. And, you know, just not having to worry about money anymore, but I, I, I feel a lot of freedom in this card as well. 
So this is what he, what he wants for the relationship is to, to feel this groundedness and manifestation. And there's a sense of being Brady, right? He has the, the, the two nines feeling like I'm, I'm complete, I'm Brady, I've, you know, I've grown. And what is the advice, the 1111 card? Wow. Right? They are your twin flame. They are your soulmate. They are your true love. And I feel that's that realization that's opening up the masculine's heart. Uh, so the feminine got the hermit for how she feels. Her attention again turned away from the masculine. Um, so there's spiritual growth taking place. There's a uh, aloneness. The aloneness is desired. Um, so that she's searching for the truth as well. There's something she needs to realize. And so she, she is taking time to do that. And, but while she's in the hermit mode, um, the way she sees the masculine is in the 5D. She's using her intuition. She's opening up, you know, that collective, um, door to see the masculine and feel him in the 5D. So, you know, that's why he's showing up as the King of Cups, right? It's, there's this deep love here. But, like I said, the, the tables have turned and she is in a hermit state. So, what does she want him to know is the Page of Wands, right? And I'm pretty sure this showed up as well in the reading. And so, it, it's mirroring that Eight of Wands there. There's so much excitement. There's, you know, this new start you know, she feels excited about it too on the 5D level. This is spiritual energy. She feels that passion within herself. Um, she wants a new start. She wants to move forward. You know, she wants to communicate as well. But there is a per like a passion stirring within her, even though she is trying to ignore it. Um, she can't. So what is in her heart space is a five of swords, conflict. Same card up here, not for you. He's not for me. And it's pointing right at the king of cups. Right? That's what's in your heart space. I don't want to do this anymore. And so, again, be careful of that energy. Uh, so what is... What does she want for the relationship? The connection is the strength card. So she's asking the masculine to be gentle with her, to be understanding, be ca compassionate. Um, you know how, you know, you felt when you were waking to certain realizations, right? That you wanted to disconnect, you wanted to be alone. Um, and just be gentle with her. You know, don't force your energy on her. Just, it's what I feel again is that energy of holding space. And it's, you know, kind of mirroring the Nine of Pentacles as well. It's more of a self love, you know, it's just um, a love that is turned inward. So, ooh, I totally forgot what the masculine's challenge was. The challenge for the masculine is the Ace of Wands. Go light, go time, go for it. And the same energy that came from yesterday, except for, uh, I think he had the Knight of Wands, just fucking go for it, right? So this is Kundalini Awakening. The challenge is to go. So just do it. Um, take that wand and, you know, just ride forth. <laughs> and I'm saying that because... You know, he, the chariot showed up as an overall energy uh, for the divine partnership reading, which I actually totally forgot to mention. Um, so there's this desire to move forward. And so you're getting the go light, you're getting the go time. It isn't a challenge. The challenge is a state of mind, right? So anyways, back to the feminine. So what is the feminine's challenge is the two of pentacles. There's a card that showed up again. She's trying to find balance within herself. She's p feeling pulled in different directions. You know, love, 
of my masculine or love of myself. Home or walking away. So yeah, um, this is a seed of intention also being planted in the 3D reality and as it's taking root and sh it's shifting and, and making her feel off-centered, right? So the challenge is to find her balance, to regain her balance. What is it you're not hearing? What is it you're not seeing? And so what is the advice, feminine, is there's that card again, the Queen of Cups, mirroring the masculine. The universe is asking you to be the Queen of Cups. Same message as yesterday and in the Twin Flame readings. Um, he's in his heart space. You know, feel that love within yourself. You know, it doesn't matter if the masculine isn't with you in the 3D reality. He is there in your heart allow it you know open yourself up to it don't you know create this prison around yourself again there's this energy of you know like a, a fence or a border being created okay so let's go back to the overall energy for the divine partnership so for the masculine, it was the Three of Cups initially. So it's celebration, right? It's union energy. It's feeling love bubbling up within you and desiring this connection and wanting to feel and celebrate that love. So the confirmation card was actually this stop or slow down. And I was like, oh, so he doesn't want to move forward with this connection or is he stopping himself? Is he... Um, you know, what is it? And then I noticed that the chariot was right behind the Three of Cups. So this is moving forward, right? It's it's instead of being locked in that cage, it's taking control of those reins. Very similar energy here, except for this is movement forward and freedom. Um, you know, so here we have horses, but here we have that kind of karmic energy being tied or bound to someone. So... What I feel here is uh, a struggle, an internal struggle with the masculine to, to move forward, right? Go like go time, you know, or should I stop? Should I slow down? Like, you know, it's constant tugging is what I'm feeling with that, okay? And so the overall energy for the feminine was the six of wands and the connecting card was give of yourself. Six of Wands is feeling victorious, um, but again, the movement is away from the masculine, spiritually. Um, it's being, it's feeling successful, feeling, um, you know, people are just really proud of you. You feel accomplished, you're being recognized, and it's because you're giving of yourself, right? It's... Or maybe actually the, the uh, energy is for you to give of yourself, right? Because um, here we have the Six of Wands kind of turning into the Eight of Wands in the future position, which could is more of a defensiveness. Um, you know, you're ignoring, you're letting go. So, yeah, um, up here it's like you don't know if you want to. But really on this 5D spiritual level, there's a desire to give of yourself. And the advice is to do just that, to open up your heart, you know, feel that love, allow that love to, to flow within. All right, so let's, um, I'll pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids just for the heck of it. So if you're um, waiting for your reading, um, those should be done soon. And if you're one of those people that I haven't responded yet to the emails, uh, just know I'm you know, just now going through them all. So I haven't looked at them for a couple of weeks. Um, and like I, I mentioned in an earlier video, it's because I can only concentrate on one thing at a time. So although I'm opening myself up um, to, f to complete the bookings that have already been ordered, and not confirmed, 
I'm not necessarily opening myself up for uh, new bookings just yet. I do need to take a break. I feel um, a bit overwhelmed and drained, you know, in terms of reading. So I need to re-energize myself. All right. So um, for the feminine first is nice jellyfish portal. And for the masculine is water elementals. Interesting. Okay, so, oh, and I also, uh, another reminder that I'm, I'm not doing the infinity spread anymore. Uh, I, it's just uh, too large, too complicated uh, to, to do on a daily basis. Uh, so, if you want the Twin Flame and the Divine Partnership, you'd have to order them separately. I could offer, you know, a slight discount, but um, just know that they won't be given to you on the same day. There's going to be a delay between readings um, only because I'm just repeating myself I find. Uh, so you know it's better to wait a couple of days, get the rest of the reading and that way you can see how the, the energy has changed from one day to another. You can definitely see how that shift has happened in this reading. Okay so let life take us unassuming, yielding to the ebb and flow, no hurries, no worries. We have no need to scurry. The current will lead us wherever we go. A deep-dwelling mermaid watches passively as a smack of ice-blue jellyfish flutter by, carried by an ocean, by the ocean current. Their brilliant luminosity brings light to an otherwise darkened scene. So the meaning is go with the flow. You have been fighting and struggling with your present situation without making much progress. It is time to take a page from the jellyfish book and allow things to take their natural course. Although they have the capability to move independently, jellyfish tend to allow themselves to drift along the currents of the ocean, trusting the process, not fighting what is. Um, do the same, and you may find yourself a more content, relaxed, and peaceful person, even if, even if you wind up somewhere you never expected to be. Right. So there's that feeling of letting go. Letting go. Right. Don't freaking worry about the masculine, um, whether or not you're being deceived, whether it's an illusion, a lie, that love is there and true love um, will never go away, right? Okay, so number 10 for the masculine. Okay, so he got water elementals. Let me weigh the matter carefully and slowly sift the results to even out the balance of the sea. When everything is in harmony, in symmetry, in peace, then everyone can finally be free. A group of three water nymphs lounge in a pond, deep in contemplation. Joined by the dolphin fish friend, they rest and ponder under a darkened sky, among the reeds and water lilies. So the meaning is all will become balanced. Lately you have had your share of ups and downs. They have been many in, there have been many instances of confusion in times when you have felt pulled in several different directions. Exactly, right? But that feeling of being pulled, with, I feel, is more on the feminine side. But I do feel this energy of the masculine wanting to release himself, right? Um, external stressors. Oh, my God. Who got the external... Uh, so there's that confusion, delay energy again. Um, external energy, right, was what came with the judgment card over there. Wow, very cool spirit. Um, so external stressors have been wreaking havoc. Everything from unpredictable weather to unstable relationships can have an impact on our emotional outlook. Fear not, my friend, for it won't be long before life and body regain their natural sense of harmony and balance. You may need to reevaluate the aspects of your life that are giving you the most trouble and try setting some appropriate boundaries if someone is taking too much of your time and energy. It is all right to limit their presence and influence. Look to the near future and breathe a deep sigh of relief. Once again, you will feel calm, clear headed, and motivated to live life to the fullest. Wow. Um, so, 
you know, I'm really feeling that energy more with the feminine, honestly. Um, but you can do, you can definitely see how that stress, you know, he doesn't want to do it anymore. No more. Right? I can't take it. I'm exhausted. I want my freedom. I want to live my truth. Right? And it's taking a toll on him for sure. And I just also wanted to mention to go back to the um, overall energy uh, for the crossroads reading. The masculine got the Knight of Cups. So this is a desire to move forward, offer his heart and love. And it is a longing energy as well. And again, the feminine had the Four of Cups as an overall energy, and she got that twice. So, um, yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Um, please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. All right, peace. Much love.